Welcome to this instructional video on how to install the Salvus Hobmate by Midbrass. The installation instructions will be broken down into five simple sections. 1. Preparation 2. Routing 3. Connection to the Hobmate hose 4. Connection to the gas inlet and 5. Final checks Section 1. Preparation, siting of the gas hob and connecting of the hobmate to gas hob. Accurately prepare gas hob cutout in work surface, in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. Carefully unpack the gas hob and place upside down on a suitably protected work surface. Select the gas inlet fitting as supplied by the manufacturer and note its correct orientation. Apply gas jointing paste or tape to the half-inch BSP tapered male thread on the hobmate and make joint to inlet fitting of the gas hob. Tighten the joint to ensure a mechanical and gas tight assembly. Section 2. Routing of the hobmate to the gas inlet. Apply any sealing strip to the underside of the gas hob in accordance with manufacturer's instructions. Carefully lift the gas hob, turn it over and lower the whole assembly in through the cutout in the work surface and bed the gas hob down, whilst ensuring the squareness of the gas hob to the work surface. When you are satisfied the gas hob is correctly positioned, assemble the hob retaining clamps and tighten the gas hob to the work surface as detailed in the manufacturer's instructions. Manipulate and shape the hobmate to run along a suitable route, ensuring effective clearances are maintained to any electrical services and sufficient rear distance is allowed for any oven to be fitted under the gas hob. Hobmate allows you to easily route clear of any rear oven obstructions. Install the gas supply 15mm isolation valve in a convenient location on gas supply pipework. Cut the hobmate to the desired length for connecting to the pipework downstream of the 15mm gas isolation valve minus approximately 25 mm to allow for the G-fit coupler. The cut should be made between two corrugations and can be made with a proprietary wheel head pipe cutter, applying light pressure between turns. Ensure all burrs are removed after cutting. Section 3. Connection of the G-fit coupler to the hobmate hose. Use a safety knife to remove the outer PVC jacket up to the valley of the seventh corrugation of the hose. Take the Hobmate G-Fit coupler and disassemble it, carefully noting the position of the components. Place the large nut over the corrugated portion of the hose until it sits against the yellow PVC jacket. Then place the brass washer over the hose and slide up inside the nut. Then place the black rubber olive over the hose and up inside the nut, ensuring that the largest diameter section of the rubber olive enters the nut first. Ensure the large nut is against cut edge of the yellow PVC jacket and that the washer and the rubber olive are fully pushed into the large nut. Place adapter fitting onto the end of the corrugated pipe, ensuring it is fully pushed into the large nut before tightening. Ensure adapter fitting is continually kept pushed into the large nut whilst tightening, first by hand and then with two spanners. Hold the G-Fit coupler stationary with one spanner whilst tightening the large nut with the other spanner to achieve a mechanically secure and gas-tight joint. Section 4. Connection of the G-Fit coupler to the gas inlet. The 15mm compression end of the G-Fit coupler is a standard compression fitting and should be connected to the 15mm copper feed pipe in the normal manner, ensuring a mechanically secure gas-tight joint. Section 5. Final checks. Ensure all joints are mechanically sound before conducting a pressure drop gas test for tightness. Once you are satisfied that the installation is gas-tight, Simply wrap any exposed corrugated stainless tube with the self-amalgamating tape provided in the Hobmate kit. This is to prevent any corrosion threat from cleaning materials. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to look out for further videos on our ever-increasing Salvus range.